You know, I made the choice to be a Michigan Panthers fan because of a few reasons. Um, I have a whole video about that, but the Panthers have been eliminated from the playoffs. Um, it's just, it's hard to look at it and just realize that they failed, but that their team just wasn't nearly as bad as the other two to me. Now, what, what I mean by that is simply put, this team didn't have a formula on how they lose games. It wasn't that they keep getting destroyed like the Maulers or that they keep blowing a halftime lead. The way that this team has lost almost all their games that they've lost have been just through really just heartbreaking ways. The first week, they were basically one foot away from being able to win the game uh, against the Gamblers. Then in literally week two, they weren't able to score when they had the ball in the red zone on their final play. Then week four against Philadelphia, I mean, I had to make a whole video about the decision to kick a field goal when they could have ran the ball into for a touchdown, which cost them in week four. Then in week five, they fumbled the ball in their final drive to try and tie the game or win it. And then in week seven against the Breakers, who at that point were viewed as one of the three best teams in the league by a consensus, they got them to OT, but they didn't beat them. It sucks because this team has players who have been really spectacular. Reggie Corbin is third in rushing yards, and he's third in total yardage for the entire league. Then you have Lance Lenore Jr., who's actually second in receiving yards throughout the whole season. Then you have one of those guys that never gets talked about, Frank Gidna. He's currently third in total tackles in the entire league. And this team has basically been the highest third down percentage team in the whole whole year. Which in theory means that they're going to win, but they just don't. This team's biggest flaw ended up being the fact that despite how good their defense was playing the first half of the season, their quarterbacks just couldn't get it done. Shea Patterson was given f what I feel like most people thought were too many chances because he kept showing flashes, and it didn't work out. They tried to get Josh Love for a game, and they realized that was a bad idea, and then Paxton Lynch, aside from his first game, he did come in, he played pretty well, but then he got hurt, and he just came back this week, and he had a decent game, but too little too late. They're 1-7, and seven, they're mathematically eliminated from the playoffs. It sucks, but at the end of the day, this team, it just, it, it had to happen. They just, you can't keep losing close games. I genuinely do believe they are better than the two other 1-7 teams, but this team just kept blowing games that they could have won. If they could, didn't fumble, if they didn't do bad decisions, if they made better passes, they would have made it. But, you know, they're eliminated, and I guess it's just the way it has to be. Off the upright! It is no good!